Oh, yeah. Hey, listen, we asked everyone, uh, Margo, to talk about their... If you've got a rain gauge, mm. tell us how much you've had. We go through... Actually, can we go through this one first, Margo, before we get to the rain gauges? Pothole on the Diagula Highway. It doesn't sound very bad. On the Diagula Highway overpass over the Bruce Highway. But all of a sudden you realise, hold on, this thing's a monster. The pothole is damaging tyres. About 10 cars are pulled over on the side of the road. So if you're going over the top of the Bruce Highway there near Caboolture and the Diagula Highway, be careful. I'm sure someone will have that closed shortly. But back to the rain gauges, Margot. Yeah, we've got Malcolm at Bandamba, 64 millimetres. We've got Sam from Ormo saying since 9am yesterday, he's received 150 millimetres. I know, the battle of the wow. rain gauges. It's all over. Mm. Keep agreeing on us. One triple three five three. what's in your rain gauge while we go straight to... Here's what you need to know with Bianca Stein from 7 News. Where are you this morning, Bianca? Oh, good morning. I'm at Hins Dam. I'm still wet, wet to the core. Um, but not as wet as down at Hinsdown because there's so much water coming out of the spillway right now. By my calculations, it is two Olympic-sized swimming pools every minute that's coming out of Hinsdown right now. All that wow. water coming from the Gold Coast hinterland, from Springbrook. You talk about rain gauges. Well, wow. up at Springbrook last night, uh, uh, since 9 a.m. yesterday, got 191 millimetres. Uh, that brings uh, its total since Sunday to more than 400 millimetres. So that's almost half a metre of rain. So, so much more rain to flow into Hins Dam at the moment. I'm told it is the highest level it's been since Cyclone Debbie. So, wow. can, yeah. can, we, can we check that, Margot? You might know. After Hins Dam, it goes down in the Narang River. Is that right? Exactly right. It does go down to the Narang River. So it is, uh, it's a flood mitigating dam as well. So it, um, it'll go down into the Narang River. So that is increasing the flows down there. There is a flood warning for the Narang River that it is current, but no major flooding at this point. Just below the um, Hins Dam, Bianca and Mardo, is the little Narang Dam. I'm tipping it's not so little anymore. <laughs> she's a bit swollen. She's, she's you know, like, <laughs> like me after a good dinner. So, so, so on sunrise today, because you guys are national, um, you're, are you guys mainly focusing on the Hawkesbury River and Nepean, or are they coming to you occasionally? No, look, uh, the focus is definitely Queensland today because the Weather Bureau has put a rather extraordinary warning out. So there is a severe weather warning, but within that warning, uh, it's rather ominous. The Weather Bureau says that this uh, current situation could pose a serious risk uh, and it could even be life-threatening. So... That is fairly ominous. Um, today is the dangerous day for Queenslanders, and that, oh. that warning covers a fairly large area from uh, southern Queensland right across to the southeast. But it is particularly the Gold Coast that they are concerned about because the ground is just so wet. We've seen landslips. Uh, you might have seen the pictures of that house at Wonga Wallen where the retaining wall gave way. The house yeah. is now sort of teetering on the edge. Uh, it's, it's not a good situation. Definitely don't be on the roads today if you can avoid it. And wow. uh, listen, we, we've got another one here, Bianca, while you're on. Mick from out near Greenbank said, Stony Creek, Ro Stony Camp Road at Greenbank is underwater. Don't even think about it. One car already stuck. So there's a warning for everyone. Stop going through the water. Yeah, no, if you, you don't... don't know what's underneath. You just don't, absolutely don't know what's underneith there. Yeah, Anastasia uh, Palaszczuk, our Premier, said if you don't have to go out, just stay home. Mm. Um, the SES are being smashed at the moment as well. Let's be mindful of making calls unless it's absolutely necessary. They received 3,000 calls for power outages uh, and more than 400 calls for help um, as we continue to be hammered by this torrential rain and flooding. So make sure you stay safe. Be careful. Absolutely. But there is good news on the horizon because we might get some sunshine tomorrow and then looking at tops of 30 degrees on Thursday. So there's always a silver lining. If you if you work if you work outside, don't even bother about it today. Come back tomorrow. Take the day off. Yeah, Try again tomorrow. Bianca. Bianca Stone from Sunrise on Channel 7. Thanks again. Thanks, guys. Margo broadcasting live from home today. We've got another shot at $10,000 after 8 o'clock with Triple M's first responder. A lot of rain around today. Yeah, it certainly is, Dave. And uh, as you mentioned, I am at home, which means I can look out the window here in Carbrook, Cornubia, Mount Cotton area because I am on the border of those three suburbs and tell you that it is still raining. We have literally not stopped raining in this area since Friday. And we've got a text message from Glenn from Mount Cotton, my neighbour. He's received 220 mils since 5am on Sunday and a total of a whopping 460 millimetres of rain since it started on Friday afternoon. 
afternoon. Marta, you mentioned that's over a metre worth of rain that we've received well, no, it's not a uh, in sorry. and around these areas. A, a, more than a foot. Oh, sorry, I, I got that wrong earlier. A, a foot, sorry, a not a metre. Thousand. Hey, uh, but we, yeah, we've, we've been talking about it. Give us a yell any time, 13353, about what you've been getting in your rain gauge and a bloke that knows all about it. Gary Youngbury, Channel 9's weather reporter. Hi, mate. Good morning, guys. Uh, look, that's about uh, doing the sums. It's over half a metre in uh, particularly southern suburbs down towards the Gold Coast since this rainfall event started. That's an incredible amount. And it's still coming down, by the way. Gary, we virtually throw in the show out today because of the roads being closed and all this rain, etc. People, are, well, it, it's coming to an end at some stage? Look, it is. I think it'll start to ease into tomorrow, but I think it'll be Thursday that'll be the day that is back to blue skies, sunshine and stinking humidity. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, Gary, we've we've seen lots of images across the news uh, for the Gold Coast, Logan, uh, Gold Coast hinterland. What's happening in Brisbane? Uh, Deception Bay reported we had a gentleman text through on our burner phone, 298 mils of rain he's seen there. What can we see across the rest of Brisbane for today and tomorrow? Well, I think exactly what it's doing now to even ramp up a little bit more. There is another band that's sort of sitting out towards the Darling Downs, Southern Downs, and near the ranges, and that's going to sort of filter eastwards during the day. So it's going to get heavier. We might get a little bit of a break, and then it'll start again, you know, another hour or two later. So it's going to be pretty consistent all day today. No relief. So the rain gauges will be overflowing again by this afternoon and they'll still see more rain again into tomorrow. The roads will be a mess today. Right, so keep your expectations lower. But you're saying uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday should be okay. But uh, as the as the atmosphere sucks all the water up, it's going to be hellish. Oh, it is, Marta, you said. Look, Thursday, Friday particularly, uh, into the weekend, but there is the chance of a couple of showers redeveloping again oh, from uh, into next week, sort of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. But only showers and light falls, but yeah, we don't really need anything. Give everyone something to look forward to. Then uh, yeah. that next weekend's Easter. Have you got anything on that yet? I, look, I have. I had a bit of a look for you, Mardo. Uh, so some of the charts we're looking at were looking fine. Uh, there was a couple of charts that said a couple of light showers, so nothing like this. Yeah. But I'm thinking at this stage it should be fine. Surely there's not too much rain left to come by then. Well, nice one, mate. Always good to have a yarn. Thanks for all that, Gary. Have a great day, guys. Gary Youngbury, Channel 9 weather reporter. Always great to chat to you. Thanks for joining the Big Breakfast.